Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x plus 4z minus 5, 4x plus 3y minus 2z equals 5, and z equals negative 2x plus 2, and we want to solve this system by substitution. But the first thing I'm looking at here is, well, I want to get, well, y, so you have y in terms of x and z, and I have z by itself. So I'm going to take that first equation here, y equals x plus 4, and instead of z, I'm going to put what we have here with z, negative 2x plus 2, and we minus 5 there, okay? Then, from there, I want to simplify to get, well, y by itself. So y equals... We have the x here, but we distribute the 4. 4 times negative 2x is a negative, eight, negative 8x, and 4 times 2 is 8. Then we have a minus 5 here. From there, we want to keep going. Let's get our like terms together. So y equals x minus 8x is a negative 7x, and 8 minus 5 is 3. So we have y equals negative 7x plus 3 here. All right? Now it gets a little tricky. I'm going to look at my second equation. I have y in terms of x, and I have z in terms of x. I'm going to plug both of those into my second equation. So we have 4x, the second equation here, plus 3, and instead of y, I'm putting negative 7x plus 3. That's a 7, whoops, 7x plus 3. And then we have minus 2 times z, which is negative 2x plus 2, and that's uh, equal to 5. Now, don't be afraid. This is a large equation, but what's happy, or where the goal is, makes us happy, is we only have x's in it. So we know we can simplify this and get x by itself. So let's bring down and simplify. Take it little steps at a time. 4x comes down. Distribute the 3. 3 times negative 7x is a negative 21x. 3 times the 3 is a 9. And then... We have minus 2 times minus 2x is a positive 4x, and minus 2 times 2 is a negative 4, and that's equal to 5, all right? <sighs> all these steps here. So let's combine our like terms where we can, okay? 4x minus 21x plus a 4x equals a 13, negative 13x, so we have a negative 13x here. 9 minus 4 is 5, and equals 5, okay? Subtract 5 to both sides, and a negative 13x is equal to 0 after all of that. Negative 13 can be divided by to both sides, and x is by itself, and 0 divided by negative 13 is 0. So again, after all this, x just equals 0. That's nice, that makes the rest of it pretty easy. We take this x equals 0, we put in for this x here to get y by itself. So y equals negative 7 times 0 plus 3. And then y equals, well, negative 7 times 0 is 0. And we just have a 3 left over. And so y equals 3. Well, we have x, we have y. Let's go find our z. Our equation for z they gave us was z equals a negative 2. And instead of x, let's put 0 in. 0 plus 2. And, well, this is easy now. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. Plus 2 is 2. So z equals 2. So we can write the coordinate point 0 for x, 3 for y, and z is 2. And again, that's our final answer. x equals 0, y equals 3, and z equals 2. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.